Folks, how you doing? I just want to remind all of you that before we start this video, that the only way if you're watching this on YouTube you can get a hold of me is by joining Mac T Ford Edge. So by all means, go over to Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook, hit the join button, and of course, enjoy the knowledge and of course, the maintenance and other advice you can get on Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. Hey folks, Mac T back. And of course, I'm gonna talk a little bit about steering wheel covers. Yes, uh, nothing says crappy resale value more than a steering wheel that is just ate up and destroyed. Now, you can take care of your car, wash it, paint it, do whatever you're gonna do with it, right? But when people look at the steering wheel, what's the automatic decision on that car? is it was abused, uh, they drove it hard. A lot is told by the wear on the steering wheel that people were practically, some of the steering wheels I've seen, as you see in this picture, looks like the owner of this steering wheel was gnawing on it like a teething ring. Yes, that steering wheel all the way up through here is completely worn out. Now, I have had a lot of my edges uh, that have steering wheel cover similar to this. And I can tell you from experience over the years of using these, uh, some are better than others. And I'm gonna buy this one and try it on here. And I'm gonna tell you that this thing's gonna be a pretty tight fit. And I'm gonna measure it and see how wide the steering, is, steering wheel is across. And I've already know that from the outside to outside on this, from this side to this side, it's 15 inches. So I'm going to measure the steering wheel outside to outside to see how wide it is to see how this is going to fit. Now most of them I found that fit good. I do have one on uh, my Ford Edge that I kindly call Lulu Bell. And of course, been using it for years. And I'm going to tell you some of the advantages of it. Until Ford started putting heat and steering wheels in, uh, the, the heating, you get in on this bare steering wheel here and that thing is ice cold in the winter time or it's exceptionally hot. One thing I've found about these covers is it's not as hot and it's not as cold when you get in the car to hold the steering wheel. It's almost like an insulator to keep it from getting too hot. But in the summer and the winters, I found that this bare steering wheel is just remarkably cold and hard to hold on to uh, whatever time of year it is. So uh, I've went to these, I've used them, and I found that that is a benefit. On top of it, none of my Ford Edges that uh, I've had steering wheel com covers on, or any other vehicle for that fact, has ever had damage to the steering wheel. The steering wheel <laughs> looks brand new. And the only way you're gonna get that brand new look is if you replace the steering wheel. This is 10 or 15 bucks roughly, and good cheap insurance. And they do fit pretty good. I will admit that you know, people don't like the bulky feel of them, but you get used to it, and it does provide that protection. If you want some other uh, type, you can uh, buy uh, steering wheel wraps that you have to wrap around the steering wheel and sew together. Uh, some suggestions were uh, leather like that, or even tennis racket wrapping. Now, I don't know about the insulating properties of it if, as far as heat transfer and everything goes, but those are some other options. But this is a really ready-made option. And it's cool because it says Ford, right? So <laughs> that's why I bought this one. And of course, I'm going to put it on here. And I'm going to show you a little trick because it is uh, pretty cold outside right now. So you can imagine this being cold is not going to be easy to put on this steering wheel. So I got a couple little suggestions on how to make it a lot easier. Now this is uh, the Elite Speed Grip and I have put, I'll put a link up to it in uh, Amazon where you can buy it. And it even comes with multi-language descriptions on how to install it. And you start at the top and work your way down and that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, no matter what you do, it's gonna be tough. Make sure the steering wheel, of course, doesn't move too much. And then of course you just start wrangling her on because I've never found a pleasant way to put these on. It's going to look like a struggle, and it is. But then again, you want the fit to be tight so it don't slide while you're turning the wheel. 
and that's not a good thing. So uh, you want to make sure that it's tight. But let's start by, of uh, course, measuring this steering wheel to see what the width is. And I uh, got my, I stole my wife's uh, tape measure. It was laying there, so I just took it across across the entire steering wheel. I have 15 inches, and outside to outside on this steering wheel cover is 15 inches. So it's going to be a snug fit, and that's what we want. We want a snug fit. So we're going to go ahead and, of uh, course, get this paper out of here. That might be our first struggle, right? But it pops right out. Nothing but a cardboard insert. Now, what is my secret? This is my secret, folks. This is a, a heat gun that I've had for a little while. Don't use it too often, but every once in a while, I have used it to warm things up. And we're going to go ahead and warm this steering wheel up with this heat gun to make it more pliable. And that is my secret to all this. So let's go ahead and warm this thing up. If you can't hold this in one place very long, it will burn it. So you got to take and move it around pretty quick. Once you get it warm, we'll go ahead and uh, start putting it on. So we got this done. Let's go ahead and put this thing on here. We just start massaging it on. And like I said, it's not going to fit real, real, uh, yeah, that was hot. Had a napkin in there. Didn't know that. And then you just got to pull it on. And once you get to a certain point, you really got to pull on it. So that's why I said it's going to take some finesse. And once you get it to a certain point, it should snap on. And again, I'm at the bottom here. And what I do is I just pull this bottom down and push to get these sides in here. And then you should be just about where you need to be. Just force them down over it. And there you go. It is nice and warm. And we have our steering wheel on our Ford Edge. And of course, it's nice and even. You got the, the uh, perforated grips right here. Ford is dead center up top. And that's all it takes, folks, to get that on there. And it works a lot better when it's warm. So make sure that you do have a, a hair dryer will work. Put it on high, get it nice and warm, but don't burn it. And of course it does. That, my heat gun works really good because it's really hot. But again, it doesn't turn, it doesn't slide and it protects it and it's nice and padded. It's something to hold on to. I like the thicker grip, not everybody does, but it does fit well. So you wanna make sure that of course you do do that. But again, this is Mac T Ford Edge. Join that Facebook group. Remember, like and subscribe to YouTube. And of course, uh, we have uh, Mercy Grill doing some of her uh, one-liners along with music from Band of One. And last but not least, my feet hit the floor today. And I'm having a great day. And I want you to have a great day, too. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos. And remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.